I'm Lori, welcome back to Plan Free. This is a bit of an impromptu video because I have just gotten through um, some phone calls and emails with the Thai consulate in Vancouver, Canada, and I've got some information to share. Let's get right into it. Everybody knows that there's some new visa changes and there's a new DTV visa, which is the Destination Thailand visa, which we were all so pumped up about. And then there's some new visa on arrival and visa exemption stuff. So I wanted to come to you and tell you as of today, July 18th, 2024, the changes are definitely official. They were official as of Monday the 15th, July 15th, but I had some emailing to do and some particulars I needed to sort out. So I just got off the phone with a really fast talking Thai guy in the consulate in Vancouver and asked him some very specific questions about our scenario. So the answers I got from him will help you guys. So here's the information. And if you need to contact the Thai consulate in Vancouver, Canada, I will leave that information and the direct phone number. I mean, it was so nice to just talk to a, a Thai guy and get the answers straight from his mouth, even though he was a bit hard to understand. He was super friendly. So here's the spiel. As a Canadian anyway, this might apply also for someone from the UK, uh, the USA, but as a Canadian, the visa on arrival is free. If you just book a flight from Canada to anywhere in Thailand, when you land, you don't have to pay anything. You get a visa uh, on arrival of 60 days for free. I asked him if I was to leave Thailand after on the 60th day and travel to another country, Cambodia, Vietnam, wherever, Mexico, and come back again within two months and arrive at a Thai airport again, can I get another free 60 days? And he said, yes, you can do that for up to two times per year. But if the immigration people in Thailand see that you're doing it three, four, five times, they're gonna start to ask questions and start to say, no, I'm sorry. You need a visa, pay for a visa. But he told me if we, my husband and I are planning to go for six months to Southeast Asia, you can fly to Thailand, get your passport stamped with the free stay 60 days. You can leave Thailand and go experience some other culture. And whenever you come back after a week, a month, whatever, you can get another 60 days for free. And that would be your about two times in the calendar year. So that's the information on the visa arrival and the visa exemption. So that's the way we're gonna go. But my initial reason for contacting the Thai consulate through email and phone call was because I was super pumped up about this new DTV. The destination Thailand visa will be appropriate for some people. I thought it was gonna be appropriate for us. Hey, pay for this visa, we can stay six full months in the country with a chance of um, extension. When I talked with him though, I had my questions were, look, if I'm the primary applicant and I'm going to uh, say, tell them about my business and how I earn my income in Canada, prove all my financial paperwork and pay for the DTV, 10,000 baht. It's about 340 Canadian dollars. It says in the rules that I can bring my spouse. So my question was, well, can I just bring my spouse? Literally just bring him? No, he has to apply separately on his own. He also has to pay the 10,000 baht. So that's another 340 Canadian for him to stay six months. Hey, some of you guys might like that, but I'm like, now we're upwards of $700. I can fly to Vietnam for that, right? And check out another country. So just so you know, when one half of the married couple applies, the other half still has to apply separately, still has to pay the 10,000 baht. But what the benefit is, is he doesn't have to prove as much um, income or there's less paperwork, the Thai guy told me. So you're paying as a married couple, you're paying for 20,000 baht as a married couple. If you have children, they also have to pay the 10,000 baht per person because they each individual needs their own visa application. Now under 18, you might have to call. Again, I'll put that phone number down below in the description box. So one other thing I forgot to mention is with the DTV, everybody knows you'll be able to extend one time. I forgot to mention also with the visa on arrival, when you just land at the International Airport in Thailand, whichever one, and they stamp you for free for 60 days, you can go to an immigration office in Thailand and extend that one time to 30 days. So you can stay uh, 90 days. We're, we're just not going to. We'll go and enjoy Thailand maybe for two months and then Vietnam two months and then come back and finish up two more months in Thailand. But that is official. That's as of today, July 18th. And I was so confused as to, well, how much am I actually paying for this visa? And now that it's $700, that's a couple of flights. So that's just what we're going to do. And because it's fresh off the Thai guy's tongue, um, he was a very happy soul. I just wanted to share it with the rest of you and hope it clears up some information. 
We really appreciate you guys stopping by and we want to bring you timely, accurate information. And uh, please click the like button and we'd love it if you subscribe too. It helps us keep good information coming to you and um, buy us a coffee. Thank you.